Hi, I'm Patty Moore with More Recycling, and I really appreciate all of you coming here today. Today I'm going to talk to you about fossil fuel plastic and the degradable additive scam. So I have to get you oriented a little bit because there's a lot of confusion about degradable and bio-based. So degradable plastic is any plastic that falls apart, like an additive to a fossil fuel based bottle that is put in to make that bottle fall apart later in its life. And bio-based plastic is plastic that is made from a source other than fossil fuels, a natural a renewable source like corn or many other things like that. Bio-based does not necessarily mean that it will fall apart. There are bio-based plastics that are not intended to fall apart like rayon fabric or the cellulose acetate. That's that little window that goes in your envelopes. You don't want those falling apart. You don't want your gown falling apart. Um, but those plastics are made from bio sources. Then you have plastics that are intended to degrade that are made from bio sources. For example, polylactic acid, uh, PLA, is something that you see now commonly in packaging and that's made from corn and those are intended to degrade. So let's go back to the issue of those two types of plastic. If you want a plastic that is actually going to be compostable, not just fall apart, but compostable, uh, then you need to have the intersection of the bio-based and the degradable. Generally those are made from corn or other natural products like that. I want to tell you though about the plastics that are fossil fuel based with an additive in them and uh, are made, made and sold to fall apart and intended to be environmental, right? There's really two types of additives that are used. There's the oxo-degradable additives, which is a chemical uh, catalyst put in there uh, that after a certain time will make it start to degrade. Uh, and then you have your biodegradable additives, which they actually link, up, uh, link in a polymer, uh, like a, a corn or starch polymer, into when they make the plastic, that then, is, then that uh, link is broken over time, and then the, the plastic falls apart or disintegrates. And these are getting very popular right now, uh, because the general public feels like degradable is better. So I'd like to examine what, uh, what value do these materials have to society. Okay, let's say they save landfill space, right? Well, not really. Because first of all, landfills are not made uh, to degrade uh, things. Uh, they're entombed. Uh, and not a lot of things even do degrade in landfills. Uh, but it, when they do, they create uh, greenhouse gas. Uh, methane. So we are taking something that doesn't normally fall apart, make it fall apart, and actually creating a new environmental problem to solve a problem a little bit of landfill space. That's not really it. How about litter reduction? So are we going to base our entire materials management policy on doing the wrong thing? Are we going to encourage people to throw things out the window? Because don't worry, it falls apart. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, and, and then what happens to all those bits, those molecules? They end up in the environment. Where? Generally the water, uh, out to the ocean, to the Pacific gyre. And you may have heard about the abundance of small bits of plastic in the ocean. So litter is not a good reason to do this. What other value might this have to society? Uh, how about to facilitate composting? Nope, doesn't work. Uh, these materials don't fall apart fast enough. Uh, compost, commercial compost facilities don't want them. Uh, if you put it in your household compost bin, I put some in there and two years later it's still sitting there. Uh, it doesn't happen fast enough. And in fact, the makers of these products don't claim that it happens very quickly. So it really doesn't help composting either. What value might they have? I know what you're saying. All that stuff going out to the ocean 
It's going to help with marine debris. We're going to have less material out there in the marine environment. Okay? Wrong. Cal State University Chico did a test and took bio-based plastics as well as plastics with degradable additives and tested them in the marine environment to find out if they degraded. And they did not. None of them, not even the bio-based plastic intending to degrade, degraded in the marine environment. The only one that did was a PHA, which is a chemical name I can't even pronounce. Um, but it's not very common and you just don't see it. So once again, our fossil fuel plastics with degradable additives don't solve that problem either. Yet these products are sold and depicted as sustainable and environmental and let's be happy, don't worry, they're going to be wonderful. <laughs> uh, but how is that possible when you're taking something, putting all the energy into manufacturing it, and then making it fall apart? That just doesn't make any sense at all. In my opinion, no manufactured good should just be made to fall apart. We need to capture the intrinsic energy that went into manufacturing that, recycle it, and put it back into productive use as a new, mo a new material. Um, now that makes sense, not making it fall apart. And here's the biggest problem to me with these degradable additives is that they're actually endangering the existing recycling system for plastic because there's no way to identify these mechanically. Uh, you can't set up a system that will automatically let you know when they exist and the recycling system doesn't know when they're going to degrade. The plastic recyclers in the US and around the world have asked the manufacturers of these products to please show them uh, what the impacts are on the, on the recycled plastic and on the products that they make out of that recycled plastic and on the long-term durability of those products. And so far, none of these manufacturers have come up with any kind of testing to show that this material is not going to hurt plastic, the plastic recycling infrastructure. So if it's out there being sold as environmental and people are buying it, it's getting into the system. If it's there, but there's no way to identify it, so all of the material becomes suspect. Uh, and they know it's going to fall apart at some time. That catalyst will be, will be triggered, but when? When is that going to happen? Um, and many of the recycled products that are being manufactured today from uh, plastics recycled here are made into products that are durable. For example, carpet. You don't want your carpet to be falling apart on you. Or strapping. And in fact, strapping is an interesting one uh, because the PET, polyethylene terephthalate, the water and soda bottles, one of the common materials it gets recycled into is a high tensile strength strapping. It's a very strong material. Uh, and it gets used for things like pallet loads of bricks. Okay? So, do you want to be driving behind the truck that has the recycled plastic strapping over the bricks and that's the moment it decides to start degrading? I don't think so. I don't want to be that person uh, and neither do you. And who is liable for that if something like that does happen? Is it the brick maker? Is it the strapping manufacturer? How about the recycler that made the strapping? Or how about the MRF, uh, the, the recycling facility that generated all those bales of plastic to begin with? Um, who's going to take the responsibility for that material if it falls apart at the wrong time? This is so much a problem that there's a wide, very disparate group of people throughout the world who have come out with policies against degradable additives in plastic. Um, from industry groups, to recycling groups, to trade associations, to state recycling associations, to environmental groups. They're saying this is a bad idea, it doesn't help, and in fact it may be 
dangerous and destroy the plastics value and hurt the recycling system that we've invested so much money into. And it's being done just because the public doesn't understand better. So what I want to do is tell you that none of these fossil fuel based plastics with additives are knowingly today being recycled, nor are they being composted. So if you happen to get one, your best bet is to throw it away. And I ask you please, all of you, to let your friends and colleagues and others know the truth about this degradable additive plastic. Thank you.